Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to RimWorld. We're just paused at the moment because, well, basically, I was just letting a little bit of time pass by so that they could get a few jobs done, like putting in this drill and building the crematorium. You know, a little bit of the old, uh, just a bunch of stuff that, uh, that, that just needs to be done, and it's not too exciting. But then, but then, look at this, look at this. Jenny and Kitty, um, I... Apparently, they are attending a marriage ceremony. Now, I I didn't see notification of a marriage ceremony. Oh, by the way, I also got a, a caravan request. They want flag vests, and they're going to give me Luciferium. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no. No, we're not doing that. We're not, we're not doing Luciferium. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on because, well, basically... Um, <laughs> Apparently there's a marriage and there was no notification that I remembered, but let's just see what happens here. Uh Vescu and Natalia are beginning their marriage ceremony. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Everybody's out in the water. It's it's a, a what do they call that? Uh <laughs> <laughs> it's a, <laughs> I don't even know what they call that. Even the dogs attending. Nice. Oh, a uh, healer from the... Oh, okay. Hang on. And Vescu and Natalia married. Colonists are now celebrating the occasion. Oh, congratulations, everyone. That is so wonderful. Congratulations to the new happy couple. Very, very happy. Now, um, somebody was coming by. Wait a minute. Uh, what happened? Oh, there. Oh, they're passing through. Uh, a healer. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. Um... So what is the what are we doing today? What are we? Uh, there's a couple of things that are on the agenda. Um, the highest priority item that I want to get taken care of today is uh, Rada's new eye, because we need uh, Rada is okay. No longer inspired surgery. That didn't help much because Rada is the one being surgerized. Uh, <laughs> just making stuff up now. Um, anyways, it has finished. So they are now married. Congratulations, everybody. Oh, that was very cool. Uh, we'll get a nice positive buff from that. Pickle! That's it, Pickle. You make that crematorium. Now, someone was saying, basically, if you had someone with bloodlust, they could uh, dig up all these graves. And it just so happens that uh, Pickle here has uh, bloodlust. So Pickle doesn't really worry about much. Uh, Pickle actually quite enjoys, uh, you know, causing damage and, and hurting people, which is one of the reasons why I do like Pickle so much. Um, we also have, I think, Parrish. Now, Parrish... Where are you, Parrish? Parrish uh, is a little different. Parrish is a cannibal uh, and is incapable of caring. So we could. I'm suspecting that Parrish also wouldn't have a problem with digging up bodies, but I'm not really sure. Now, back to the, uh, the the task at hand. I've done a little bit of uh, investigation, and we have a bit of a prop. Oh, no, don't. We don't want to see that, guys. Just do your thing. Jaredon, are you, uh, how are you doing? You are now fully healed. Okay, let's pause for a minute. We have a problem. Okay, so Jaredon's moving and manipulation is weakened due to uh, right arm and left leg, right? Uh, gunshot wound. And if we take a look... Um, well, let's let's start at the beginning. Let's start at the beginning. This is kind of important. So I was taking a look at doctoring. My best doctor is Rada. Unfortunately, I don't really have a great doctor. I mean, even Rada as my best doctor is in 11. I have a lot of half-decent doctors. Even, you know, down here, Blue is a 7. So not none of them are really awesome or great at it. Um, but we have a bit of an issue. My best doctor is the one that needs the the uh, the new eye. So uh, Rada's out. She's not going to operate on herself. Uh, Jenny is the next choice. And if we take a look at Jenny, we see that Jenny has liver cirrhosis, which basically weakens uh, consciousness, moving, manipulation, talking, all of that. And so that means that, and that's because of the pain, I'm guessing. Um, and what that means is that uh, the medical operation speed is 98%. Surgery chance of success is 85%. So my the best I can do is 85%. Now, if we take a look at the rest of the list, let's just do quick uh, a quick boo. We've got Jenny. We've got Jaredon. So we take a look at Jaredon. Now, I wanted to wait. The reason why I'm looking at this now is because, A, we're recording it, and B, um, I wanted to wait for him to, to be fully healed. He was quite injured, and uh, so now we can take a look at his actual stats. Uh, his uh, medical surgery success chance is 84%. It's even less, uh, even less. So 
Oh, boy. And then if we could keep going down the list, we've got Kitty here, right? Kitty, who's an actual surgeon, although I'm suspecting Kitty may not be a great surgeon, is in great health. Um, but let's take a quick look at, uh, at the medical capability. Surgery chance of success is 90%. So really, Kitty is probably the best chance for uh, actually performing this surgery. Well, um, hop operation speed is 100%. Medical surgery chance of success is 90%. Yeah. Um, and then let's if we keep going down the line, and then see Kitty's only a 10 out of 20, which is, uh, it's not actually, it's only one less than my best. Uh, Vadim is the next down. He's a 9. And if we take a look at Vadim, he has a stab scar, which gives him a little pain. He's It doesn't seem to affect him much. But if we take a look at his... Uh, medical surgery success chance, it's 85%. So it's essentially most of my top doctors are around the 85%-ish mark as far as their ability to perform surgery, which is a little worrisome. Uh, I am concerned about Rada. Now, the, be the here's the thing. The worst case scenario is that her eye gets damaged, the ex her existing eye, and it's already been torn out. So really the worst case scenario is that uh, wherever this bionic eye is, uh, yeah, that th that this eye gets basically we just lose the eye. The eye gets uh, lost forever, and so that is that is the risk. That's what we're operating under. Now the other thing that I want to do is uh, well, let's take a look at some construction here. Uh, pickle Malrata. Oh, everybody's going to sleep. Uh, the other thing is I want to use. Uh, I have uh, four hospital beds, uh, an excellent bed, an excellent bed a normal bed, and a masterwork. And I'm thinking the Plasteel masterwork bed is going to be the bed we're going to use. But if you take a look, you'll see that... Uh, wait, wait a minute, where is it? Over here, um, in the bottom le left-hand corner, you see that uh, it says it's lit at 50%. Now, apparently, lighting makes a big difference for uh, medical. So I'm going to put... I'm having another light put in here. Uh, so that's also part of the plan. Is there anybody else that can do construction? Fescue. Vescu. No. No, I don't have... I mean, he can do... Uh, hey, Vescu, what are you doing? Relaxing socially. Can I get you to uh, work on that lamp, please? If that, if, if that would be okay with you. Inspired trade! So now, that's the other thing. If I can get someone who has inspired surgery, that would be super awesome. But the chances that, um, but that basically... Well, if we take a look, I think it was Kitty... Uh, for doctoring, essentially it was Kitty. Kitty was the one that I wanted to do because she's a 90 percenter, right? Um, medical operation success chance is 90 percent. The chances of Kitty getting inspired surgery be in the next little while is <laughs> pretty slim. So I think the best thing I can do, let's see, right over here is it's lit 50 percent. Oh, because it's indoors, right? Well, I guess that's the best I can do. I mean, I've got a light here and a light here. So I'm hoping that that's going to make a big difference as far as the thing. Lit 50%. Hmm. I mean, if I put in another light, is that going to make a difference? Uh, I don't think it does. I, I'm not entirely sure. But, yeah, let's not worry about it. So I think we're going to have to... We're just going to have to fish or cut bait. So essentially what we're going to do um, is... Let's see. Here, okay. Let's see. Rada, Rada's asleep. What time is it? It's eight. You know, Rada, it, what, how you doing, Rada? What is your, what are your needs at this moment? Um, you are fully rested. Okay, so, essentially, I think you're in good shape. So, Rada, can I, let's add a bill. Okay, so I think, I've never done this before, but I want to add a bill to install, oh, I got to get the right eye. I have to get the correct eye. <clears throat> Health. Left eye torn out. Okay. Add a bill. Uh, bionic left eye. Left eye. Bionic left eye. Right. Okay. One patient awaits op medical operation. The other thing I need to do is if we go to uh, assign uh, Rada, I need. I want you to have the best, uh, best quality medicine that we have. So essentially, that's just for now. I think I only have medicine. I don't have any glitter world medicine right now, which I was, you know, I was hoping that I would have, but that's okay. And then, uh, so Rada, what are you doing? Can you uh, fire? Where's the fire? 
Oh. Ow, stupid boom, whatever, boom rat or whatever I think it is. Oh, dear. That's it, Cambier. You go and take care of it. Thank you. You know, I could give you some nice shiny new eyes, Cambier. Can you see the fire? Huh? Yeah, apparently he can. All right, that's fine. All right, now, Rada, I would like you, Rada, I would like you to use uh, this bed right here. Okay, and then uh, Kitty, I would like you to prioritize operating on uh, Rada. Okay, so we're going to go to uh, one speed on this because we're, that's it, Kitty. What, what are you doing right now? You are installing a bionic eye. <clears throat> You're going to get the medicine first. Very awesome. Okay, this is very tense. This is a very... Hi! Rat, Rat is like, hey, uh, what's going on, Kitty? Uh, why am I here? <laughs> let's let's speed it up so that Kitty, Kitty can go get the eye. Oh, man. I'm kind of nervous about this. All right, now. Here we go. That's it. Come on, don't fail. Kitty, you could do it. Oh, squish, squish. Oh, my God. And... Come on, don't fail. Kitty, please, please. Rata, Rata is a very valued member of this team. You could do it, Kitty. You could do it. Oh, is it going to happen? Squish, squish. Ah. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Look at all the blood. Oh, my God. Now, fortunately, the, the hospital's fairly clean right now. I made sure of that before I started recording. Come on, come on. Rata needs a new eye, kitty. You could do it. Ah. <laughs> I love the sound. I love the sound. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. And... Did, did it work? Oh, that is so awesome. Kitty, you are a star. You are, you're going to feed a nice, simple meal to Rata. Kitty, thank you very much. You are a star. You are, uh, right now, uh, you are on uh, up in my favorites list. <laughs> Which doesn't actually exist, by the way. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, very nice, Kitty. Yeah, I got to do something about the, the all the walking. Actually, um, these ones here, I think I can allow. Uh, it's, oh yeah, yeah, uh, it's this one. Maybe it's these ones that I should, uh, not allow. Uh, this one I shouldn't, shouldn't allow right here. Oh no, that's, they're using that to go around. I have to rework this. Um, it keep, uh, I've had a lot of really great comments about this whole situation here. And I do, I recognize that I need to rework it. It is absolutely terrible. The fact that Kitty has to take that huge route just to go get some food for Rata. That's, that's terrible. Oh, man, I am so happy. Now, here's the thing. Um, right now, let's take a look at Rada. As far as being a doctor is concerned, that Rada's, like, got a, a bionic eye. And you know what I could do? Oh, okay, we're going to have to think about this for a minute. Uh, all right, so, essentially, medic medical surgery chance right now is 1%. I am suspect it's because she's anesthetized. <laughs> yeah, I probably shouldn't be looking at that right now. Um... But let's, if we take a, a quick look again at, uh, so Rada's out at the moment. Now, as I say, my best doctor, so Kitty, Kitty is now an 11 because of that, that thing. Oh, that's really interesting. So if we take a look now at Kitty, what's your chance of success for the next mo medical surgery? 92%. So it went up. Oh, that is awesome. So Kitty is really becoming a medical star. So that's actually really cool. Now, um, as far as, uh, I, I, what I could do is, um, and I don't want to do it because I don't think, see, Rata only has r one he health issue right now. But if we take a look at some of our other doctors, for example, Jaredon. Well, no, that's not what I wanted to do. If we take a look at Jaredon, um, he has a uh, medical, his, okay, he's got, uh, his right arm is damaged, right? And if we take a look at... Uh, Essentially, it's giving him problems with manipulation and pain, right? Now, what we could do... Wait a minute. Hang on a sec. We've got to take a look at that again. So that is his uh, right arm. Well, it just so happens that we have a bionic arm. So we could give Jaredon a shiny new arm. 
and then that would uh, that would reduce his pain and also increase his capability as far as manipulation is concerned. So that is, oh yeah, I asked people to haul some uh, scrap metal and stuff like that. Why? I don't know. I, I think I wanted the metal, the steel. Pickle's working on, uh, what are you doing? You're you're hauling steel. You're building the drill. Thank you, Pickle. All right. Now, the other thing is we've made ourselves a nice, shiny new crematorium. Oh, man. I'm so happy for Rada, by the way. That is just so cool. You have a nice nap, Rada. All right. So we have a, a shiny new crematorium. So we're going to set up a bill. And we're going to... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, burn apparel. And we're going to uh, do this forever. And essentially what we want to do is... Oh. Can I not control? Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, we want anything less than 51%. Uh, and really, yeah, just anything that's uh, normal or worse. Because I don't know. I mean, uh, actually, allow tainted apparel. Yeah, definitely. Do I want to do this, though? That's the big question, right? Um, what I should do is clear all and then essentially... Uh, state that, let's see, um, see, I don't want to, I, see, I could sell a lot of this stuff, but things like the cowboy hats, um, and the, uh, not the marine helmet, the fo foils, okay, simple helmet, tribal headdress, toque, uh, war mask, war veil, these are things that I could probably, you know, a button-down shirt, anything that's like, uh, poor quality and crap, it's, it's not, we're not gonna. We're, we can sell the the, the uh, damaged other things for for a reasonable amount of money. But jackets and pants and a parka, these are all the cheapy things. T-shirts, tribal wear, uh, none of the rest of this. So there we go. So apparent. I'm I'm hoping that that's gonna do what I want it to do, which is any crappy cheap items. Uh, basically, whether it's tainted or not, just burn it. Okay. So that's we're gonna do burn apparel forever. And then the other thing is we're gonna. I don't want to burn drugs because uh, I, I, we could sell them for money. But we're going to cremate corpses, and we're going to do this forever. And essentially what we want to do is only allow rotten corpses, and we're going to allow... Uh, not We're not allowing colonist corpses. Stranger, human, and then animal. Um, we could burn animal corpses, couldn't we? Rotten animal corpses? Yeah, why not? They're rotten. Let's just get them, get them sort of taken care of. Maybe that's a mistake, but yeah, we're going to do it anyways. So there we go. Do forever. All right. So uh, now uh, the question becomes, is somebody going to actually take care of that? I don't really know. Uh, Pickle, what are you doing right now? You are hauling steel to the drill. Right. Here, let's uh, speed things up. Rada! Rada's back! Rada, how you doing, Rada? Let's take a look. Uh, you have a bionic left eye. Now, let's take a look at Rada's uh, surgery s capability. Now, by the way, the only downside of Rada is that Rada is a wimp, which means that uh, basically she gets immobilized really easily. So she's not really too great in, in, in a fight. She's weak and cowardly. But you know what? She has... Um, look, at, look, at, look at Rada. Look at these skills. Animals, intellectual, shooting, construction. She's, she's like really... I. Um, I got chided because I didn't include Rada in my list of favorites, and I really should have because she is she's so awesome. Um, but let's take a look at her surgery capability now. Um, let's see. Medical operating speed is 106%. Surgery chance of success is 92%. So she's as good right now as uh, Kitty. So I have two people with equal capabilities that have almost 100% medical surgery success. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. Now, by the way, the other thing I probably want to do is back her back down just temporary for uh, back to uh, herbal. There we go. Wait a minute. Was there anything else there that I saw? Hang on a sec. Melee, clear. Okay, no drugs. Yeah, I think everybody's good. I think I, I think I got everybody. Everybody except Vadim should fight. Okay. All right. Off we go. Oh, now it's... Oh, my God. <laughs> First of all, inspired trade. Nice. Kitty just got inspired surgery. <laughs> okay. You know what? Here, let's go to one. I want to take a quick... We may be able to use this. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. I can't believe after all that, 
Oh my god, this game! I I tell you, oh, medical surgery success is ninety two percent, but the inspired surgery bio. Inspired surgery. I, I don't really know much about inspired surgery. I can't really see in here. Shouldn't that be reflected in the uh in, in here? Shouldn't this Hmm. I, I would think that uh because her inspired surgery, she's ninety two percent right now, isn't she? Cause Kitty is is essentially my second best. That's weird. Alright, well, um do I want to replace Jaredon's arm? I don't think I do. Not right now. Um, what else do we have? What other bits and pieces? We've got a, an arm, a stomach, a heart, and a leg. I think we're doing good. If I had a liver, I'd replace... Um, uh, what is it? Uh, hang on a minute. Um, it's uh, Jenny. I think Jenny's the one with the, uh, the cirrhosis. I would replace her liver. In fact, can I make a liver? Can I make a bionic liver? Uh, rifle, no. I can make a heart and an eye and <clears throat> there's and a stomach. A bulk goods trader. Oh, uh, trade ship. Okay. So, um, I think isn't Vescu, uh, doesn't he have inspired trade? Yes, he does. I can't believe you have inspired surgery, kitty. That is just so wrong. Um, all right, let's check out the bulk goods trader and see what they have. Uh, let's go to two. Okay. Speed things up a little bit. Uh, Cambier! Oh! Actually, hang on a sec. Okay. Uh, Vescu. Sorry. I, I Call them back. Call them back. All right. All right. All right. I got I got distracted by something. I'm going to have to fix it. I should have done that, that correctly in, uh, to begin with, and I, I didn't. All right. So we have a bulk goods trader. Uh, we're not getting rid of the cat. Um, you can keep asking for the cat. It's, it's worth a, a shiny penny of $20.24, but no. That ca it's my cat, and you can't have it. Um, let's see. They have uh, some roosters and, stu and such. We're not doing that. Uh, I could get rid of my huskies. I don't really need them, but uh, I'm going to hold on to them for a little while. Uh, they have chocolate. Um, you know what, team? You guys deserve some chocolate. I think that would be kind of awesome. Uh, they've got some meals. I don't really need to do that. Okay, hair meat. I'm not really too worried about that. Neutral amine. I have a 193. Let's get seven till we have an even 200. No, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Uh, they've got components, but I can make my own components. They've got advanced components. Oh. Um... Let's buy two. Th let's buy their uh, their two advanced components, and then let's see what what. Well, maybe we could hang on it. Let's, let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna sell some of my cloth just so that I don't have that. Just get rid of that little stack. I don't really care. Uh, alpaca wool we can sell, but we've got no. I'm not gonna bother. Synthread. Oh, I've got synthread. But we've got little things like this bird skin, uh, the lizard skin, and. I'm just looking for uh, smaller uh, amounts of things. Bear, bear skin, we I think we can make something out of that, so we're going to keep that. I'm not interested in your hu human leather. It's very interesting that you have it, though. Uh, rhino leather, thrumbo fur. Um, now, they have medicine, but they don't have uh, glitter world medicine, so that kind of sucks. Sell the ambrosia, sell the psychite tea, smell the smoke leaf. Um, I know that we could probably use that, but eh, whatever. Um, and then what else? We've got uh, jade, steel, jade. Now, do they have steel? They do. I should probably buy it. Um, we're at net neutral right now, but now that goes to minus 1280. Is there anything? I'm hoping I can sell them some big ticket items. I need to get back on the uh, art thing. Uh, so uh, beer. Um, ah, we got four beers. Let's just keep those. Why not? Okay, so we get rid of the camel hide pants, um, the poor cloth pants. Uh, an awful button-down shirt, um, camel hide pants, 70% normal. Eh, that's all right. In a pinch, somebody could wear them. Uh, poor, poor, but they're hot. Oh, they're not mine. Okay. Camel hide pants, 87%. Um, no. Yeah, they're normal. That's fine. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Let's get rid of... Oh, I already did. Okay. Uh, parka, mega sloth. Okay, what else we got here? Rhino leather. Is there anything here that's really kind of crappy? Uh, oh, I could. 
Actually, I've got flak. I could sell flak stuff. Um, okay, so alpaca, duster. Wow. The, the alpacas. Oh, that's wool. Never mind. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, get rid of the bowler hat, because why would I want one of those? Um, and then, let's see. Uh, a poor helmet. Um, it's poor. Let's get rid of it. And that one's a normal blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is kind of getting a little bit... No, we're not selling the human leather cowboy hat. Advanced helmet, gold, standing lamp, and that. Okay, let's just accept that. That's fine. That's fine. We're good. All right, now what I think we're going to do is we're going to have to... We need some uh, We need some, some artistic endeavors. Now, first of all, Cambier is... Let's take a look at something here. I believe that uh, Cambier has been observing corpses. It's too late now. He's already... Yeah, he's already kind of pissed off about this whole thing. What I really should have done is uh, set this to somebody, let's see, uh, is to basically make it so that only, um, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to have to set it to pickle. Or, you know what, let's do perish. Perish. Uh, I'm gonna, let's see if perish gets a, uh, a debuff. The, the reason why I'm doing perish is, well, okay, burn apparel. Actually, that could be any worker. I'm going to take a chance that, that, that this is going to get cleared up and it won't be a big deal. And then for corpses, I think we're going to have to set this to Parish and see what happens. Um, I'm curious to see if Parish gets a debuff. Uh, she's technically not uh, bloodlust, but um, Parish is a... She, yeah. Uh, technically not but bloodlust, but okay, that's fine. I'm curious, though. That's it. That's it, Cambier. You, thank you for your service. I'm sorry you had to do that. Uh, I should have been paying more attention, Cambier. That was, uh, yeah. That's it. Now, Parrish, are you going to get... Okay, that's a corpse. You did! <gasps> oh, so you do, you have a problem with rotting corpses even though you don't, you don't care and you're... Uh, oh, my God. Okay, well, that, that tells me everything I need to know. All right, so essentially what we're going to do is um, we're going to change this to... Uh, we're going to have to change it to Pickle, because I think Pickle is my only bloodlust uh, individual. If we take a look at bios, right, um, and then we scroll through them, uh, Pickle's got bloodlust, you see? And... Yeah, I don't... I don't see anybody else that has a uh, bloodlust, so... Ah. Oh. Where am I at? Cambier? Yeah. Okay. So I don't think... Uh, all right. Pickle's it. Sorry, Pickle. I, I, I l would like to get you to do other things, but I think you're going to have to do that. Um, uh, my apologies. That is, yeah, very upsetting. But uh, anyways, that just means that Pickle's the only one that can dig up these... Uh, dig up the, the, the graves as well, which I probably will do eventually just to get a little more... Uh, well, maybe not. There's, I think the colonists, they go and they like to look at the graves. I, I catch them doing it all the time, so it's all cool. But, uh, all right, now, um, so that's those are the two minor or two major things that I wanted to get done in this uh, specific thing. So I want to take a quick boo at, oh, oh, wow. Yeah, that that's not good. I've got a lot of, my, <laughs> my wealth is going up. Oh, boy. Uh, so we've got that one caravan request with uh, for Luciferium that we really don't care about. And then uh, is there any more that I've been forgetting? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, let's not worry about it then. <clears throat> it's all cool. That's all cool. All cool. Now, what? Oh, seriously? Um, Pickle's gone to sleep. Okay, that's cool. All right, that's fine. Uh, Rada is doing some uh, research. Good job, Rada. Awesome. Okay. And how is the? Uh, has this been repaired? Not yet. All right. But this is open, right? Okay, that's open. Oh, is this actually working? Holy crap! I think it is. Current radius is two point three. Wow! It's actually making a difference. I've used these before, but they were always kind of slow. Uh, let's harvest those, I guess. Uh, we should probably also start taking a look at uh, wood, the situation with wood. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of trees growing on inside our base here. Let's get those. Let's get that one. Um, 
how about in here? No, okay. And maybe in here? Boat goods trader from Kaya the Meadow. Oh, cool. Whoops. Cargo pods. Oh, jump to the location. Where are they? What is it? Flake? Oh, for crying out loud. Flake and more flake. Ah, I don't need your flake. Okay, where are these guys? There they are. Hey, guys. How's it going? Um, uh, what I'd like to do is uh, probably sell stuff. So let's see. Uh, Chimp, what are you doing? You're cleaning trash. Well, thank you, Chimp. Chimp's actually kind of cool because he does all kinds of stuff. Uh, could I get you to uh, haul this? And then is there the other one's right there. After that? Yeah. Because I want I want to get that into my base so that we, we can uh, we can sell it to the trader. Now the traders are down here, so let's just oh I got uh, boars. How's my meat situation? Not great. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to take care of that. All right, chimp, how you doing? You're coming. You're bringing it in. Nice. Who's got unhappy nudity? Oh, somebody got changed. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's cool. So it was very brief. All right. Actually, I don't need to wait. Oh, man, that's I don't need that. That's okay. Pickle, can you, um, after you've done that, can you talk to the trader, please? I didn't, I just, I forgot that with the local traders, you don't need to use the orbital trade beacon. Oops. Um, but I do want to get rid of that flake. So are they going to buy it? Yes. That's what I want. There we go. Nice. Um... They've got a bunch of animals. Let's see. Potatoes, corn, buffalo, synth thread. They've got devil strand. Only 51. I should probably grow some devil strand. I think that would be kind of cool, actually. Panthera fur? <laughs> no. Uh, I think everything else... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Somebody just got changed. Did they dump some crappy clothing? Oh, it's probably going to get burned, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, flak pants... Uh, yeah, I think we're fine. Oh. Bearskin cowboy hat. I don't really need a bearskin cowboy hat, do I? No, I don't need a bearskin cowboy hat. Okay, that's fine. All right, there we go. What was that? Brio. Brio. What What, what was that? Brio compared uh, Regabai's mother to a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> there's apparently there's some infighting. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So, um, oh, did we get that drill? Yes. What is under it? Uh, resource jade. Not really interested in jade. Okay. So let's uh, let's turn that back on. And we're gonna we're gonna probably move that. Um, actually, no. No, we're not. We're gonna we're gonna mine jade, but we are gonna take a look and see what else there is. So that little tiny one was jade. I do wonder what this is. So uh, perhaps we could build another mining drill. Um, let's put one right here. I know I'm, I've got a lot of mining drills, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, okay, how are we doing for materials though? Uh, we're eight and thirty. Okay, so we're getting we're okay. And uh, what is it here? Okay, steel is, is holding up. Okay, cool. That's because of the mining drills. Ah. All right, what time is it? 1900 hours? Okay, let's uh, speed through the night. And then tomorrow we're going to get meat. Uh, in fact, we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to have, we're going to do the team effort because uh, uh, boars can rage, and especially when there's like so many of them. So, yeah. Pickle. Oh, Pickle's going to work on that late at night. Oh, nice. And then you're going to go for a nap. Okay. That's cool, Pickle. Now, what is this? Unfinished component. Kitty and Zavarina has an unfinished component. Is Kitty... Are you blocking Zavarina from making components? I do wonder about that sometimes. Hmm. Okay. And Blue, what do you... You're, oh, Okay. They're leaving. All right. Well, thank you for your trade. Uh, much appreciated. You guys are awesome. Uh, now, how's our power situation? Um, I can't really tell. Let's see. 
battery. Uh, stored. Grid excess stored. I think we're okay. I don't really... I'm not very good at telling how the power, what the power situation is. I do get worried because I'm adding more mining drills and stuff like that, and that can be a bit of an issue. Uh, what I might do is add another... Whoa! Oh, Psychic Sooth. Inspired Recruitment, Natalia. Nice! Psychic Sooth. Awesome! Oh, that's cool! Oh, I'm really happy about that. It's better than the stupid psych ship. Now, what's this over here? Ibexes? Okay. Um, let's get that. Got to clean up the neighborhood. This place is, is a pigsty. Uh, now, where were we? Oh, yes. Uh, chopping some wood. Yeah, this is, this is fun. Oh, yeah, look at all that. Okay. Now, what time is it? Oh, 0800? All right, everybody's up. So let's take a look and see what the weapon situation is. Uh, you guys are all, uh, how about we just grab, uh, you four or five? Yeah, six, actually. I, if I could count, that would be super awesome. And then well, let's bring everybody down here. Oh, boomalopes. Oh, man, I wish there was some rain. Uh, this could be a bad situation, though. All right, is everybody here? Okay, so we want to go to two. All right, uh, let's see. And and you, Rada. What are you doing? Oh, you're. Are you unarmed? What? Oh my God. Rada, un. Oh my God. Go, go, Rada. Oh, I. They didn't even. Did I not? Did I think that she had a? We I should have. Oh, that's why I checked. I. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, that's terrible. Um, okay, so, uh, basically, yeah, let's, uh, these guys here, melee attack. Who else doesn't have a weapon? Melee attack. Attack, that's what I want. Okay. All right, and that one. Okay, and you. Okay. All right, and you, of course, we're going to set to hunt. You see, that's why... Oh, it's 2% chance. Oh, it's a lot less than I thought it was. Okay. Uh, what other animals do we have on the wildlife do we have? So those are... Oh, we've got a timber wolf. Where are you? Yes. Okay. So, uh, team, uh, I need you over here, please. Last thing I want is for people operating the mine to get killed by a timber wolf. That would be terrible. Uh, come on over here. All right. Attack. Come on. That's it. Okay, and uh, are you not okay? I'll I'll have to go around it here. Actually, um, what we should probably do is orders allow uh, all of you guys. There we go. So we don't make the same mistake we made before. All right, uh, wildlife. Who else do we have? We got wild boar, lynx. Where's the lynx? Other end of the map. Okay, we're maybe we shouldn't worry about that because we got to let these guys go back to doing whatever it is they do. Uh, wild boars. There's still wild boars alive? Oh, there is. Ew. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well. Come on over, guys. And attack that. There we go. And then we want to hunt you. Okay. Now, where are the other wild boars? As I say, we need meat. Oh, up here. All right, you guys are all good. We're basically, yeah. Uh, thank you for your service. That's it. You hauled. Nice. Thank you. Much appreciated. Get a little bit of meat going because uh, food is. Uh, we got a large crew, and I am worried about food. Uh, we are we are pretty good with production, although I have a lot more. Uh, ooh, how much medicine do I have? A lot. That's okay. I don't mind having a lot of medicine. We do have corn coming. It is September and we have some potatoes going and I'm hoping that these corn and potatoes are going to be uh, ready before the end of the uh, before the uh, winter sets in. That's my that's my hope. And what I uh, what I do need to do is get into hydroponics. So that is also going to be part of the plan. How are my uh, cocoa trees? Uh, 82%. Not bad. Not bad. All right. So hydroponics. Um, I was thinking I would put hydroponics over here, but 
Uh, I, I do wonder if that's a good idea. Well, it's not a terrible idea. So how big is the, uh, let's, let's see, um, what is it? Furniture, uh, sun lamp. Oh, this, this is just about perfect, isn't it? Oh. Oh, that's not bad at all. And it's, in fact, I could put it down here. Uh, let's take a look at the roof situation. Yeah, this is the only problem right here. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to say, uh, mine all this out. And that. And that. And then we're going to, uh, what is it? Uh, wait a minute. There, there is an, uh, orders. And then, oh, right. It's a structure. No. What? Zone. Sorry. Inspired surgery, Rada. Nice. Okay, and then essentially what we want to do is uh, remove roof area. Yeah, we've already done that, so that's fine. Okay, good. And I'm gonna put the uh, I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna put the uh, the right outside this door, and we're gonna basically include this in. So essentially, what I'm going to do is we're going to put in uh, furniture. I think we have problems with electricity, so we're gonna have to do something about that. But essentially, I want to put this. Yeah, we're having electricity issues. Uh, these are fully operational. Okay, so what we're going to have to do also is uh, power. Let's see what I've got. I've got chem fuel power, geo. I could do geothermal. Oh, let's see. Where's my. We've got one here. Uh, one here. Oh, we've got one right here down at the lower end of the map. Chunks of spacecraft have impacted. Oh, nice. Okay, thank you. That's always helpful. I think the best one I've got is this one right here. Yeah, there's one up there as well. There's one over here. So maybe what I'll do is I'll I'll actually build this into uh, geothermal. So let's uh, let's put down a uh, power 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 power. Oh, I was already on power. Oh. Okay, let's put you there. And then essentially what we want to do is build a structure around it. So we're going to build slate walls. Uh, one uh, one all the way around. And we're going to put a slate door right here. And then essentially what I want to do is put another slate door right. I think I'm going to do double walls around this thing. I've got I've got the materials, right? Oh, I'm low on, uh, oh, I'm low on slate. Um, well, we're just going to have to make more slate. We're going to be, we're cutting, we're getting more blocks. We're going to dig out some stuff, so it'll be fine. Okay. We'll be okay. I, I want to double wall this because I'm worried about uh, being attacked. Oops. And essentially what I want to do is, no, oh my God, cancel and cancel. There we go. And then uh, as far as the floors are concerned, we're going to use marble for flooring. Uh, let's see, floor and where's the marble? Because uh, we've got so much marble, it's not funny. Inspired surgery, Mal. My God. <laughs> what the hell's going on? <laughs> Why is there so much inspired surgery? I can't believe that. Okay, now the other thing we have to do is we have to remove roof area from this whole place. So there we go. Because you don't want a roof on the uh, on, uh, on the, uh, the thermal whatever, who's and what's it. And then um, a boomalope self-tamed. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, well, um, buddy, uh, I'm not really sure what to do about that. Okay, <laughs> Zavrina's got a go frenzy, and Spar Mal's got inspired surgery, Rad has got inspired, everybody's got inspired surgery, Every <laughs> you get inspired surgery, and you get inspired, okay, <clears throat> yeah, let's not worry about that, um, the boomalope, I don't even know what to do with you, man. I'm going to have to think about that. Uh, but I do need to figure out the power situation for this thing. So let's go with uh, power. 
And then we're going to build power conduit. And we're going to make it redundant. Uh, essentially, what we're going to do is run uh, one down here like this. And then over here like this. Yeah. And then we're going to run power down here. And hook you into that. I think that should be fine. And in reality, we could run that right there too. As I like redundant power, a lot of redundant power. And essentially the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run power out here like this, and then down here to there. There we go. I think that'll work. Who's gonna build this, huh? Jaredon, oh, you're doing, uh, okay. Hey, Pickle, what are you up to? You're building a slate wall. Sweet! Nice! So, yeah, I, I, I've been avoiding the hydrothermal or whatever they call it. Uh, the, uh, geothermal. Sorry, not hydrothermal. Geothermal uh, power plant because um, I've got, you know, all these water wheels. And uh, But, you know what? This one's right here, and I need a lot of power for my, uh, my upcoming plans, and we're starting to run into power issues, mostly because I think of all the mining drills. Oh, what's underneath you? Uh, silver. Yeah, I'm not interested in... Well... Well... Um... There we go. That's silver. I, I don't really know any other way of uh, doing... Of, I wish we could have, like, tags. What? What is that? A steel slag chunk? It's weird. What was... Why was that red? Okay. I'm not going to worry about it. All right. So let's um, reinstall this. Where do we want to reinstall it? Oh, this. that's why I'm having power issues, by the way. Uh, let's try this little one here. We are... What we're searching for, by the way, is plasteel. Um, and then let's take a look at the power situation. And then we could run power conduit. Uh, I want to run power down here anyways because it's my base. Uh, I really, I probably could have run it on the inside wall, but that's okay. All right. Oh, it's just quiet because, uh, yeah, see, that's, that might be plasteel. That, yeah. All right. In the meantime, what we're going to do is we're just going to shut the power off to this thing. There we go. Oh, someone's playing billiards. Rada, are you, Rada, are you cheating with your bionic eye? Are you using your bionic eye to cheat? What? Yeah, see, you can hear the zzz, zzz. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay. Power, 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 power. What's going on here? I thought I fixed this. Oh, no, I didn't because... Um... Okay, okay. Uh, can I smooth that even though it's in that... I th I'm hoping I can smooth that. Uh, but yeah... This is a problem. So uh, this, I guess it got damaged or I'm not exactly sure. I think I screwed all that up. Yeah, we have power issues. Okay, so uh, hopefully the uh, the geothermal will work out. But um, yeah, I think this is a good place to stop. So the, the big thing for today was uh, we did, Rada got a shiny new eye. Um, she says it's all the better to see you with. That's what she says. 125% efficiency. Um, what's her shooting skill I, I think that affects her shooting skill right so she's going to become a dead oh she's actually good a good candidate for a, a sniper rifle oh that's actually kind of awesome all right so yeah so rata we've got the crematorium um what is that that is a an officer who's dead i wonder why they're it's because pickle's probably just busy um so we're not going to worry we're not going to bug pickle about that she's got uh, more important things to do uh, but anyways, yes. So Rada got a shiny new eye. Wherever you are, Rada, um, we got a nice uh, crematorium. We've got we're gonna we're doing some plans on our uh, uh, the uh, what you call it the uh, the hydroponics, and oh, research finished. Starflight basics: constructing the structural and support elements of a starship. This is the first step in building a, a ship uh, to leave the star system. Nice. Excellent. Let's keep going with that. Um, we're going to go with a... I guess we'll just start with... Um, I don't know. Uh, what's AI persuasion? 
Build a new reward signal system to, persu oh, to persuade an existing AI persona core into serving as the ship's AI captain. Uh, since people sleep during interstellar travel, AI core is necessary to handle blah, blah, blah. Let's, let's learn it. Let's actually know. Um, yeah, we, let's learn it. Why not? Why not? Um, now, I should be able to uh, ship. I could build structural beams. And my plan was to put one right... Oh, it's... Wow, look at all those parts. Uh, my plan was to have one right here, right here, right here, right here, or something like that. And I'm not sure exactly, but we're, we're, we're going to figure this out. Um, I should probably... Have you started on research yet? Um, actually, what I should have researched, hang on a minute, is we'll let, we'll let the AI persuasion continue, but I should have done the ship reactor because the reactor kind of really is the center of the ship, and uh, it's where I build everything off of, and I should probably do that first. So that, that's probably the about launching the ship. Oh, escaping from this planet, it would be freedom at last. It may be a return home, but also incredibly dangerous. Many desperate souls want off this planet. I wonder why. Uh, ship reactors take 15 days to charge up. Once you begin the process, the ship reactor will emit an energy sig signature detectable from thousands of kilometers away. Raiders will flock and attack you in waves at, with an intensity you've never seen. Uh, mechanoids are also known to be attracted to such energy signatures for their own mysterious reasons. Uh, it won't start until you activate your ship's reactor, but when it does, it'll be ferocious. You'll need to stockpile resources, weapons, defenses for the onslaught if you hope to escape alive. Ah, so that's going to be super scary. Um, yeah, I'm kind of actually worried about that because I'm really not that great at defending myself. I mean, I have trouble with mechanoids. Uh, I think uh, the constant attacks w might be enough to, uh, to bring me down. So, yeah. On that note, <laughs> thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Uh, next on the block. Yes. And pickles working on the walls. Nice. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.